Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode. And today we are currently trying to troubleshoot a fuel line leak at the back of Lumpy, our 1967 Ford Mustang Coupe. And originally I thought it was the flex hose that comes from the fuel sender to the fuel line. This flex hose here looks a little old and wet. However, down here I'm seeing some fuel come out which tells me it is probably the gasket around the fuel sender itself that's gone bad. I know the fuel tank is definitely new so I'm hopeful it's not the tank itself. So it looks like I get to drain some fuel. <sighs> not fun, but better than nothing, I guess. Gotta get it fixed. Hello everybody. Well, draining Lumpy's gas tank. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's gonna be messy, I think. Let's just shoot. Up that way. Okay, I'm moving over here, guys. Stand over here. Mm -hmm. Aim it that way. That way? Yeah. Yes, you do. There you go. So they can see where it's coming out. Mm -hmm. There's like a whole thing. He's gonna plug it up. Yeah, messy. Now we're taking it over here. <clears throat> put in the gas tank. Okay. That's the gas tank. Bit, yeah, there you go. That's the funnel. That's not a gas tank. That's a gas kitchen thing. I called the yellow thing a gas tank. Yeah, you look at the screen to make sure it's filming the right thing. Yeah. Kind of filming his head now. Pour some oh. more. You know, you got another gallon maybe. And then when I open the gas cap, let's air in. Right? Yeah. It's like a vent. It is a vent. Alright, so I disconnected the electric. Yeah, I kind of missed that. I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> This is the, there's a small flex hose from the fuel sender to the fuel line. And that's this piece here. Um, I hope you guys can see this. If you can't. Sorry, you don't have a zooming function on this thing. Yep, so remember, even though we drained the tank, <laughs> there's still, there's still be... gonna be fuel in the fuel line. Mm hmm So that's what you see coming out. Yeah, I figured that out. I was pimp that time, so I backed up. <laughs> Something fell down. Yeah. Alrighty. We have that much stuff in there. I don't know if you guys can see that because my head can't see that full. Wait a minute. So he's doing something. But I don't know what that something is though. So this is the fuel sender. Mm-hmm. And the float. Remember I told you about the float? Yeah! Like a yeah. toilet. Just like a toilet. Can you hear it? It's metal. It's metal. You want a copper one. You know why? Because it doesn't rust. Uh, partly, but... Does not erode? If you use a plastic one... It's gonna... What happens with... Plastic. Do you know what plastic's made out of? Plastic? Petroleum products. You Gasoline know. hates petroleum, doesn't it? Well... So yep. it's like... 
Can I talk for a second? Go for it. Okay. Hey, you don't need to shove it up my nose. So, in chemistry, they have something called like dissolves like. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, gasoline will dissolve a petroleum product. So, if you have a plastic float, you will end up dissolving it, and you'll get a little pinhole in it, and it will fill with gas. So and then it won't float. Then it won't float. Like a water balloon, if you put it in water, exactly. it won't float. I meant exactly. to say beach ball, but I said water balloon. Yep. I see the gasket. So. That's my grandpa. He's cool. He's a cool dude. So the gasket. Just like my dad. Should be flat. That it doesn't look flat. very flat. I don't think oh, I missed it. Where is it? There it is. Well, it's... Well, if they don't you look, know. We didn't buy it when it looks like it maybe was flat. Then it got beat but up. You can't really over tighten it when I get a new one anyway. Well, yeah, can't really over tighten it when you put it on. So is it safe to touch? Yeah, you can touch it. It's covered in gas, but you know, wash your hands when you're all done anyway. Yeah. So yes, I will. I'm gonna put it right there. Okay. So, guess what we get to do now? Go to an auto parts store! Yep, and we're gonna go to Napa. They seem to have the best luck in getting us what we need. I thought it was called Napa. Poop. I said it wrong. Napa. Okay. Not Napa. I, th I always said it was called Napa every time I Poop. saw it. So, you don't, you think we need to take it? I don't think we need to take it. I'd take it. Okay. Might as well for like a size comparison. And you need a flat gasket. Maybe the people at Napa who probably don't take naps will help us. Like I just explained, the O ring is square. Ish. And. The best way to get it to stick up there is the best way to get it to stick up there. They said was Vaseline. I know that stuff. It's weird and goopy. Mm-hmm. I'll hold it. Got it. Okay. So that's probably like way too much. More the Maybe. Yeah, I don't know about that. Now what I need is to wipe some off of my hands. I mean, <laughs> the gasoline smells good with it clean my sinuses, I guess. Yeah. <coughs> now, do you know why they say to Because it's sticky-ish. It's it... goopy, and it likes to stick to stuff. That's correct. And... Ouch. Like not the non-sticky slime. Because Vaseline is also called, if you turn that tube around, you'll get your answer. Petroleum jelly! Mm -hmm. I sounded really energetic. I hope I don't sound too weird. Okay, so. Hello. So look at me real quick. Okay. Okay, okay. No, maybe not so close. Back towards the light, some please. Remember to watch your head. I hope you guys don't mind this. So, on the fuel sending unit, there's two tabs, two little ears. And what that means is when you stick this in here, there's two corresponding holes. And as long as you line up those ears with the holes, you can't put in the fuel sending unit the wrong way. Well, that sounds useful. Mm-hmm. And helpful. So it's, I hesitate to say it's dummy proof, but Depends it's pretty on how dummy, dummy proof. Alright, I need the ring out of that bag, please. This thing? Thank you. Would you like to show it to the camera? 
it's it's that. And the flat side goes down. Goes against the fuel sending unit. I guess it kind of be up or sideways. And then. Alright, it is in there temporarily. Now what do we do? Get a welder? We don't now, have a welder. I'll take the camera. Um it's annoying. I don't know how to fix it. Well what you can do is Alright, so have... there's little tabs in the tank and tabs that go under it. It's on this locking ring, so this locking ring needs to turn clockwise, and to do that you need a hammer and a flat blade screwdriver or a wrench or something like that. So we use petroleum jelly on the ring, yes, because it is sticky. Also, because it is slippery. Wait, how is it supposed to go in slippery? And there's one other sneaky reason why. It is. I uh, know. Oh no, the light okay. bulb. That's okay. Well, it's called what again? A petroleum jelly. Mm-hmm. What do you think it's, it's made out of? Um, petroleum and mm -hmm. jello. Petroleum. And jello. Petroleum is the root. Ingredient. It's also the root ingredient in gasoline. Remember me telling you this yesterday? Yeah. And like and like, dislike. Like dissolves like. Oh. In other words, gasoline will dissolve. Vaseline. Petroleum jelly. It's all about my face. Oh well. What do I do? Here, wipe it off. Am okay. I gonna die now? No, just back out. You're not gonna die. I don't wanna die. <laughs> You're not gonna die, What's sir. What's on your face? I don't know. It's gas. You're fine. Wipe it off. Don't light any matches up close. <laughs> I'm gonna turn this off for now, okay? okay? I can grab that. Oh, you already have it. All right, that's as tight as I can get it. So, filling Lumpy up. You've told him that his name is Lumpy, right? Yes, wait. Okay. I don't want them to be confused that Lumpy's the Mustang. <laughs> Hello. This is the, the you the fuel tank and the fuel line. There's a flex head. Uh, yeah, that's okay. what this is. You can turn it off here. Okay, but this is the robot. Hi, Cam. <laughs>